Three years in and out of court came to a close today as the former leader of the House of Prayer cult is sentenced to 30 years behind bars. 79-year-old Anna Young pleaded no contest to charges of second-degree murder and manslaughter. TV20's Royal Flood tells us why her daughter says it's been a painful process for her, but the victims deserve justice. All innocent blood cries out from the ground uh, for an answer. The former leader of the House of Prayer cult, Anna Young, is charged with second-degree homicide and manslaughter in the 1980s. Young's plea of no contest was accepted by Eighth Circuit Judge Mark Mosley, sending her back to prison to serve the rest of her time. It feels good because this has been a long time coming. Um, my sister was killed 38 years ago, and uh, during those 38 years, I often wondered if this day would ever come. More than three years of time served cuts into the 15 and 30 year sentences Young will serve for the manslaughter of Katonia Jackson and the murder of Amon Harper, better known as Baby Moses. Through all this pain and suffering, I began to learn the lessons that Moses' memories were trying to teach me. Young, now 79, will spend the rest of her days in prison. Her daughter, Joy Fluker, says she wants to turn the pain of what happened at the House of Prayer into purpose to help victims of similar crimes. I have a thirst to be able to help others avoid the situation. Fluker says seeing her mother in the courtroom gave her the strength to remember the life of her brother, Baby Moses. She mentioned her nonprofit, Prevent the Pain, that is meant to give other victims a shoulder to lean on if they want to speak out. And that's what I want to live the rest of my life in trying to do, is trying to help bring awareness to that and support those who are considering speaking out by saying, listen, I know what you're going through. We're here for you. If you need counseling services, we'll fund that. Young turns 80 this year and will serve both sentences concurrently. In Gainesville, Ruel Flood, TV20 News.